What's happening? Jamie Bunn, Fish Blue Water. Sunday morning, we got pristine weather, light southeast wind. So we're punching it offshore in search of a daytime swordfish. Possibly mix in a little drop in for some rosies, maybe a golden tile. We'll see what the day brings, but stay tuned. We're headed offshore. So we made it to the destination. We're down here uh, off South Fort Lauderdale, currently sitting in about 15, 1600 feet of water, checking the current, getting the rods ready, and getting ready to send the baits down. All right, so this is a first for me. I've daytime sword fished plenty, believe it or not. I have never, ever fished a buoy rod. So we're gonna give it a shot today. Got this little Shimano Force Master. We get a bite, we're gonna see what she's made of. So we got a light east wind, we're gonna steam to the west. Once I start letting this thing down, first thing to go on is the lead. Keep letting it down until we get to basically a loop that we're gonna have about 1500 feet down the braided line. We're gonna attach our float, motor away from that a little bit, and then we'll get the tip rod set up. All right, bump it in gear. Go ahead. All right, you see this? This is not a white flag, but I'm waving it. Three drops, buoy rod, tip rod, no bites. It was about uh, one o'clock, we said that was enough. We're gonna go try and catch some groceries. Got a couple of numbers for some rosies and golden eye, or um, golden tiles that we're gonna try. And hopefully we can put something in the box before we go home. All right, we're gonna go bow stern challenge. Costello, you up for it? Hayden, you gonna take you gonna take the challenge? Listen, when you can't catch a sword, you gotta turn it into fun somehow. You got a rod dropping off the bow, rod dropping off the stern. Would love to see some golden tiles, but we'll take some rosies as well. So we'll see what happens here. <laughs> You might want to put another rig on. Swing it to me. Ooh, we got a nice one there on the bottom, kids. Quad City Knock. Nice job, Hayden. That is a, that's a nice uh, rosy right there. Yes, sir. For a rosy, that's a mighty fine one right there. So the Stern team currently has uh, six rosies to one for the bow. So I've not really fished for these things before. They say they're good to eat, we're gonna find out. But one of the things that stands out to me, they got inside of their mouth is actually black. They say it's a really white meat, 
but you can also look, I mean, there is all kinds of sharp spines all over this fish. If you look at its dorsal fin, look at the spines on that thing. This creature was created to try and protect itself from all of these bigger predators down in the abyss. And I'm guessing all these really sharp spines are part of its defense mechanism. So right now the Stern team has both quantity and quality. We have the largest fish on our rig. Drop a comment below and let us know whether you think they've got a better fish on their stringer than we do. Ooh, we're getting a bite. We're getting a bite. This, the bow crew is finally in the game. Uh, caught two nice, actually they had three, pulled one off. Two nice rosies on the LP on the bow. Had to sub it in. We lost one of our small guys due to an electrical failure in the, uh, the plug. Anyhow, so they got three, we got six. We still got them on quantity and I believe size. Decent fish. We got two rods we're dropping, trying to catch some rosies. You saw the two we caught. Bow rod, we had an electrical issue with the wire, so we're trying to get that straightened out. Here comes the dolphin swimming under the boat, so. Goes from a quiet, nothing happening kind of day to mayhem. I'll take it. Well, the stern just keeps adding to our uh, our lead, and uh, yet again, I think uh, Hayden has put another sizable rosy on the deck. These are these are really good sized fish. What do you got to say, Gooch? I wish I would have had a second drop. You're getting ready to get one. <laughs> no, that good job, boys. Good job. Looks like we ended up catching them and now taking the lead. <laughs> it's never over till it's over, boys. Dial team. It's like a lionfish. Grab the circle hook and just roll it backwards. Grab Look at that. That's a, that is a nice rosy, man. I'm gonna get some good fillets off of that. Thanks, schooly dolphin. Take it. All right, so daytime sword fishing is kind of like feast or famine. And uh, if we were relying on the swords alone, we would be hungry tonight. However, however, we did all right. We, you know what? We got resourceful. We said we're down, but we're not out. We did a little dropping, as you guys saw. Caught some nice rosies, got lucky. A little bonus uh, dolphin action, caught a half dozen dolphin. And uh, great day, right? Beautiful day. So. Hayden, appreciate it. Well the Gooch, Scott, had a great time. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, remember, any questions, throw a comment down below. And uh, we want to know what you guys want to see next. So like, comment, subscribe. I'm Jamie Bunn. We'll see you for the next Fish Blue Water video.